Well, this is part two of my southwestern road trip over the holidays. I left Friday after work December 20th, 2019 and headed south um, through Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, all the way south to New Orleans and then followed the Gulf Coast around to Texas, uh, finding some free beach camping along the way. I spent several days at Magnolia Beach, Texas before turning inland. I had my sights set on Las Cruces, New Mexico to see an old friend. Uh, my plan after that was to poke around southern New Mexico before heading home, but as you'll see, some really cold weather, unseasonably cold weather, uh, forced me to backtrack my route um, all the way around back to the Gulf Coast, uh, doubling the trip length, but uh, I was following the warmth. Um, we're going to pick back up as I left Magnolia Beach as I traveled through Austin and overnighted at a free campsite in Shriner Park in Junction, Texas. Well, we're here in Junction, Texas and some free camping at Shriner Park. did notice last night I happened to be camping right next to the City of Junction's Christmas light display. Got the van right here and they have all the Christmas lights in the trees. So uh, of course I had to put my Christmas lights on, ran them all night with just a little USB battery pack. Had a few people drive through last night looking at the lights. I'm sure a lot of more traffic would have come through before Christmas. This being two days, three days after Christmas. Had a few people come through last night. I think uh, a few of them were actually uh, police department just keeping an eye on things. But you can see it's pretty. early morning and it's just starting to get light. Kind of a tunnel of trees. Just kind of walk around here for a second. Yeah. Parked right in the middle of a Christmas light display. We're going to get out of here in the next hour or so. Keep heading west, heading for uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico to see some friends. After that, who knows? I was going to maybe head over to Bread Rocks and uh, head north home. Going to be home in about a week. But looking at the temperatures, it's going to get cold. May just have to run back towards the Texas coast and maybe towards Florida before heading north towards Michigan again. Let's take a walk here alongside the river. Got the little USB dead cat mic, but it's just a little too much weight. To let the gimbal work properly. So I'm gonna do this handheld. About five sites here along the Lilano River in Shriner Park. Free camping up to three days or three nights. A little lake back here behind the dam. Water pouring over the dam. Made for some soothing sounds. Well, 
looks like the wind's going to kick up just a little. A little Class C down here. There was a truck with a tent camper earlier. He's already pulled out early this morning. Let's see how treacherous this is. Uh, not bad. Uh, Lake Lilano. With the water going over the spillway. Shriner Park, Junction, Texas. Quiet night, but it's time to move on down the road. We're about an hour and a half east of El Paso, heading for Las Cruces, Highway 10. Pretty country out here. Just coming into a mountain range. Just crested 4,600 feet, still climbing. Let's see what we're going to top out here at. Coming across this high point. Four thousand six hundred and fifty. Four thousand six hundred and sixty like the elevation here. That was a nice little crest. I wonder if that was the Continental Divide. I think that's farther, farther west. Pretty country. Texas on the scenic drive mountaintop overlooking downtown El Paso climbing this a whole lot easier than I thought I would no I don't think you can really see much out of that camera Nighttime, this is a stellar view. But I'm just passing through El Paso and thought I could burn an hour or so. This would be fun on a motorcycle. elevation. I'm hoping for a scenic pullout. There's got to be a scenic pullout out here somewhere.
at elevation 4200. Here's a seat to pull out. I knew there's one. High above El Paso and the scenic overview. It's really windy up here. It's cool though. Hello, New Mexico. 